Welcome back everybody, Matthew here with Cinegold and today I'm bringing you the top seven zombie movies of the last five years. All right, let's get started. Number seven, hashtag a lie. When a zombie outbreak decimates the city of Seoul, a man finds himself barricaded alone in his apartment with seemingly no other survivors. This Korean zombie flick plays out like a thriller and manages to squeeze in a few new tricks into the overflowing zombie genre. For the most part, this is a one-man show and luckily actor Yoo In delivers. Loaded with nervous action, a fast pace, and even some moments of solid humor, Hashtag Alive should be enough to leave most zombie fans satiated. <laughs> How do you like it, huh? Oh God, what have I done? Number six, Little Monsters. A school teacher must find a way to protect a group of school children from a zombie outbreak. Little Monsters is a good old fashioned blend of lighthearted comedy and over the top gore and violence. The premise is hilarious and even nerve wracking as the teacher must try to convince the children that everything is going to be just fine. And the teacher played to perfection by actress Lupita Nyong'o is the perfect complement to the apocalyptic zaniness. <laughs> Number five, Cargo. After being infected by a virus, a father races against time to find a safe home for his young daughter before change is overtaken. The Netflix original Cargo is set in the post-apocalyptic Australian outback. It shares a theme with many great zombie stories before it, which is finding the humanity among the many villains, both alive and undead. Featuring excellent performances all around, a gorgeous setting, and intelligent writing, Cargo has a lot to offer diehard fans. Without question, this is one zombie film that is bursting with heart. Does he kind of remind you of... I don't, I don't like you. At all. all. I think you double parked. <laughs> or more perpendicular parked. Hope we don't get a ticket. What is going on here? What? Hello, everyone. Am I hallucinating? Number four, Zombie Land Double Tap. Zombie Slayers move cross country where they run into more survivors and more, you guessed it, zombies. Double Tap fits nicely into the standard sequel mode of going bigger than its predecessor. Unfortunately, no one would say it's better than the instant classic Zombieland. That doesn't mean fans of the original won't find lots to enjoy. Double Tap is a fun reunion of sorts where new characters and twists keep things feeling fresh. But ultimately, we're here to get a taste of one of the best zombie films of the last few decades one more time. If you'd like to get more movie recommendations every week, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what are your favorite zombie movies of the last five years. Number three, Zombie for Sale. A family running a gas station discover that when they are bitten by a wandering zombie, they are rejuvenated with energy. Believing the undead bite to be a cure for old age, they set out to exploit it for profit. The Korean zombie for sale is an absurdly funny and heavily underrated entry into the zombie comedy genre. And like plenty of the classic living dead comedies before it, successfully satirizes all the tropes we've seen time and time again. Although a little heavier on the laughs than the scares, zombie for sale is still great fun. <laughs> Number two, Overlord. Set in World War II, a group of soldiers find themselves trapped in enemy territory where they discover a serum that seems to resurrect the dead. Overlord's mission is to give zombie fanatics a flat out good time and it overwhelmingly succeeds. A thrill ride of bullets and blood, this action heavy zombie flick turns history on its head and if you feel yourself hungering for zombie movies with less talk and more gore, Overlord has got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, One Cut of the Dead. While shooting a low budget zombie movie, a film crew is attacked by actual zombies, but the director decides to keep the cameras rolling. One Cut of the Dead is a Japanese horror comedy that contains top shelf script writing that is surprising on all fronts. Also making number one on my top horror comedies list, I feel like every zombie fan should hunt down this hidden gem. Bloody, hilarious, and even brilliant, you can hardly go wrong with One Cut of the Dead. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. That's all for me today, folks. I will see you next time.